Alrighty guys, JSM Shredder here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDA4. And as you can see, probably saw the thumbnail and all that shit. We got another old school police cruiser pack in the game now. And uh, this doesn't replace the other one. Like We still got the, the Colossae, like old style Vic pack. I, oh my god, really? Hang on. Oh, what the fuck? He just, he's running off! Hang on. Ugh. The fuck did this dude doing, hey? There we go, now I can report it in. Hey, bro! In, uh, okay. Uh, hello? Why is he just walking? Backup needed. Hey, uh, can we get to somebody from the prison way. down here just to, like, fucking nab this guy real quick? Copy that, dispatch. Animals he's on trying to walk away as if nothing ever happened, but he's very, uh... But as I was saying, this doesn't replace the, the, the Class A pack that I have. I can't remember which one this is called. Dispatch. Is that we Greenwood or something? Vehicle spawning, added... Yeah, Greenwood. Okay. It's another old-style fucking vehicle, so... Oh, yep, here we have uh, corrections here. Hi! Look at that. You made me pull out my oh, shit. He literally just stopped that. He didn't even point his gun at him or anything. Oh, that is a cool animation I haven't seen before. Holy shit. We got him, but we got his ass. Nice. Does this guy have like a corrections uniform? Yeah, he does. I thought it was the fucking like, uh, LSSD fucking thing again. I thought it may have bugged out or something, but no. So yeah, now we have two old style police vehicles that may ambiently spawn out in the world, and all that fun stuff. Ching Lee. Paid enough for this shit. All right, let's go see if Mr. Lee has anything uh, on his record here. Uh, he has a perfectly clean record, but he decided to go ahead and do that anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get a Grand Theft Auto charge here. Go ahead and with that. And I mean, you're the fucking corrections person, so I'm going to just... I'm going to let you take him. Required in yep. Penitentiary. Corrections officer's gonna take him away and we'll, I guess, get started on this thing proper now that that's all done. Yeah, that's very uh, interesting how that immediately happens. Oh, right, I should probably get a tow truck out here for the vehicle because it was involved in a... Grand Theft Auto case that we have against this guy now, so we'll have to take this in for evidence. Get, uh... <clears throat> get Casey's out here for the vehicle, bring it down to uh, Sandy PD for impound, and then we'll go ahead and get back on patrol to start this uh, episode off legitimately now. That's always, always gotta love it when I start near a, uh... No, oh, whatchamacallit, a, uh... A park, big parking lot like this, and uh, shit pops off immediately. And yep, the, this fucking hatchback just ran the stop sign. Is it gonna run this one too? Uh, it didn't come to a complete stop. Go ahead, pull this guy over for uh, running that stop sign. Running two stop signs, actually. Ah, oh, come on, you can pull over better than that. Pull over better than that. Let's get him across so we're not blocking the intersection to the yellow jack. No, that should be good. 
I'll let dispatch know we're on a traffic stop. Open up our rear door and go make contact. Alrighty, sir. Trooper Fairhaven. Didn't I just arrest you? You look awfully similar to the guy I just arrested. But anyway, uh, Trooper Fairhaven with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop today is that you didn't stop at either of the two stop signs before coming down here on 68. There may not have been that many vehicles around, but you still gotta stop at the stop signs, especially since you almost hit those uh, cyclists going down 68. The Appalachian District Proof Insurance. Alright, Frankie, I'll be right back with you. Alrighty. Stratum's valid, valid. Everything's valid there. We are going to go ahead and get him for failure to stop at a stop sign. Alright, Frankie, it is going to be a ticket for failure to stop at a stop sign since you, uh, oh, what's it called? You ran two of them before coming on the 68, so that's definitely not something we can have. So, guys, that in a bond on mission of guilt, just saying you'll take care of it in court, alright? You'll be free to go and return to my vehicle. And since this is a annoying, uh, vanilla siren style vehicle without any uh els configuration we're gonna have to deal with that there he's gonna go ahead smack into that rv and we will be code four off of this traffic stop and mac 10 8. citizens report in public uh, urination sandy shores sandy shores just set up for uh units respond code two set up for some speed enforcement down 68 since uh at least in doj uh, San Andreas Highway Patrol is allowed to patrol and run radar on Route 68 because it's kind of like a, it's a byway, like a county byway instead of a highway. It's a state route, essentially, is what it is. It may not be a major state route, like the freeways or anything, but it still counts as a state route, which is why... San Andreas Highway Patrol is allowed to patrol and run radar there. And now that I'm a media and I can more freely mention and compare this LSPD part of the OJRP, I'm going to uh, kind of take more pages out of their book in terms of jurisdiction and stuff and just kind of take it from there, there and all that. But we are rolling up on scene of this public urination call. Just gotta find out where they are. Roger that. Yeah, this guy pissing in the fucking... Not even in a bush, bro. Like, what the fuck? Alright, dispatch. I have the suspect here. It's so gonna be Algonquin, Algonquin Boulevard eastbound. If I could just get a local and unit down here to shore. assist. Preferably a male unit. Because it's a male suspect and all that, just in case we do end up arresting him, depending on how things go. But it's good to just have an additional unit down there. There he is. Okay, make sure my engine is in fact always on. And it's another, and it's a female union unit, of course. Oh, well, jurisdictional purposes, I guess. Anyway, sir, hello. Hey, what are you doing, man? Hey. Uh, another one of you doing... Uh, stopping you from urinating in public. You know that's illegal, right? Am I supposed to do that? There are plenty of public... Yeah, literally, you have the Ace Liquor right over there. Probably, they could... You would probably borrow their bathroom or something. You're literally across the street from a public business. I'm sure they'd let you use their washroom if you, like, bought something, I guess. I don't know. Well, it's not letting me do anything like that. Well, there we go. All right, sir, do you have an ID on you? License. ID, license, Thank whatever. Alrighty, Mr. Austin, I'll be right back with you. Gonna make sure he doesn't have any warrants. And if not, he'll probably just get a warning for uh, pissing in public here. 
Driving license is expired. He does have an arrest record for driving while license suspended or revoked. Uh, warning, public disturbances. Public urination. There we go. Alrighty, sir, here's the deal. It's going to be a warning here for, uh, there we go. It's going to be a warning. God damn it. Menu, come on. Alright, like I said, it's going to be a warning for public urination. No, no court date or anything. It's not a citation. You don't have to pay anything. Just saying that we had this conversation today, and if anybody else catches you doing it, you can be cited and or arrested for it. So, uh. And since I don't want to be an asshole or anything, I am going to call you a courtesy cab to get you to where you're going, but you can't uh, you can't be doing that anymore in the future, all right? And we can go ahead and have these two sheriff's deputies clear on out of here. Hmm, I wonder... I mean, if it's far away, then it gets... I'm talking about the lights here, but if I get far away, then... It, like dims out a little bit, but I don't know. Christ. Weird. But uh, this guy's gonna be uh, taking the courtesy cab on out of here, and then we'll be code four off of that in Mac 10-8. Attention on. Yeah, pursuit in the Grand Sonora Grand Desert. Sonora Hell Desert. yeah. See how this thing handles in a pursuit. Let's go ahead, and jump right in on that. See if we can catch up to this. Last scene, uh, fucking down here. Oh, I think that's it. That's 100% it. 100% it. It's gonna be a pickup truck and small trailer here. Fucking go! I've noticed the suspension on this is a little crazy, though. Like, just, like, stopping and... Uh, fucking... Braking and accelerating the, uh... Suspension is a little crazy, and as you can even see now, going through the dirt, this thing is like just bobbing. These wheels are bobbing, bruh. Interior looks ni nice and flashy. I don't even think there's like a proper cat in here because it's such an older police vehicle. Very bouncy in here. Oh boy. We will open fire. There it is. Let's go ahead and call for a additional sheriff That's unit out here for jurisdictional on, um, purposes. Route 68. Copy, this is Adam 6 on our way. Where you going, bro? Oh no, it's a park ranger actually. I guess we are kind of in like the Sonora okay, National Park ish. Oh Jesus, just fucking hit him. Hit that guy. Oh, dear God. LSPD, stop the fucking car. I don't think he's going to stop. Now we're in the fucking Zancudo area. Yeah, let's get an air unit in on this just in case we lose them or something. Where are you going, bro? Route 68. Air support is en route. This is air support. Suspect looks like they're heading west. Yep, yeah, I'd say they're heading west. Fucking off road in this shit like crazy here. Have the helicopter here on us. Park Ranger's falling a little behind though. Some random ass vehicles sitting in the dirt. I love it. So far, pretty team pursuit though. They did slam into the Park Ranger vehicle when they first cowed up to the pursuit, but now they're kind of. Now they're kind of keeping it a little tame here. Yeah. 
bush layer. You're going to be at uh, near the Fort St. Kudo now. I wonder if I call in a backup unit That's down here and it would be like a uh, Fort fucking military police. Copy dispatch. I don't know they're down in the fucking river anyway. They won't be able to catch up, I don't think. You are only making this worse, bro. Oh god, he's taking it off road! What is he doing? Why is he taking this shit off road? What the fuck? I ain't going down there in this thing. Hell no! Nah. The Hell no, nah, I ain't going down there in this thing. Not, not in the water, at least. Not in the water. Oh, yep, that is a, uh... <laughs> that is a military police vehicle because it's Fort St. Kudo. That's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. That will, that will never not be super cool to me. All my INI edits are working. I don't think he's going to be pulling over anytime soon here. This is a pretty good pursuit, though. I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying the pursuit, so... Took out one of those fucking wooden posts, I think. Oh shit, I think a jet is flying overhead or landing or something. Fucking fire jet. Dispatch, suspect heading onto the freeway. Yep. We're approaching U.S. Route 1 now. I believe this is the Great Ocean, if I uh, recall correctly. Oh, do not go into Fort St. Kudo, my guy. That would be a horrible mistake. That would be a... Oh, look out, bro. I guess you're going for it. Yep. Military police is taking primary. He tried to pit the fucking trailer. Not exactly the smartest thing in the world, my guy. Oh god, he's coming in hot. He's coming in hot. Now that we're back on the fucking road, proper road, he, yeah, this fucking, fucking military police officer wants some, bro. Do I try spike strips? Spike strips deployed. Why is it an LSPD officer? But spikes have been deployed and are successful. Spike strip is successful. We're running on rims now. That's gonna be it. Gotta wait for him to give up now and realize that there's no fucking point in trying now. Yup, yup, yup. Yup. Hi. Get the fuck down, police. Come on, get out the vehicle. Oh Jesus. Bro came in hard there. Let's go ahead and stop, or I guess slow down traffic for now. In Palato Bay. Can't respond to that right now. Why are you not moving? What the hell? We are bugged, we are glitched. We are bugged, we are glitched. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, well, unfortunately, when I tried to grab that pet after that arrest, the game completely shit itself. Or I guess LSPD4 completely shit itself, and I could not break out of the grab no matter what I did. I tried teleporting and all sorts of stuff, and the only thing I accomplished after teleporting is getting my character stuck walking in a circle, so I guess we're being forced to end that episode here. But uh, that's I think that's more LSPD4 being LSPD4 and fucking glitchy and fucking... 
glitchy, complicated, broken mess that it is. And, and uh, that's just the way it be sometimes, unfortunately. But thank you all for watching for this episode of LSPDFR. And I will see you guys next time.